With the Oscar nominees for Best Animated Feature just being released this week, I decided to take it upon myself to, you know, discuss on who I think is gonna win, who is probably not gonna win, and it looks like our nominees go as Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Boy and the Heron, Nimona, Elemental, and Robot Dreams. Now, out of all these five films, I haven't watched one of them because it's currently not in the US right now, and that's Robot Dreams. In this video, that movie isn't going to be put into the discussion because the movie's only released in France, most people haven't watched it. So today, we're going to be talking about these four films and who I think is actually going to come out on top and actually win the award. And I'm so sorry for all the TMNT fans, I really thought that it was going to get um, nominated because it is a really great film. But it looks like it's coming down to these five films. But before we start, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Now, I'd say coming at the bottom, in my opinion, out of these four films, is Elemental. Now, Pixar has had an interesting four years after 2020, um, and I'd say that this film, out of all of them, actually stood out from the most, and actually could be an Oscar contender. Turning Red last year, it was an okay movie, but would I consider it an Oscar-nominated movie? Not really. I say the best film before Elemental was probably Soul. Soul made the most sense. But with this movie, I'd say it has kind of a chance. I mean, it's the Pixar's first ever rom-com. I mean, it's kind- it's just a rom-com, it's kind of a comedy. Um, I'd say really just- just the dynamic with Wade and Ember, it's really good, and it's a really touching ending, and, you know, it's a good movie on its own, but would I consider it the best film of the year? Probably not, because it's just- it's a good Pixar film. It's nothing spectacular. It's crazy to say, but the Oscars aren't force-feeding Disney anymore with just automatically giving them the award. 2019 was the ultimate disrespect. Once, when Toy Story 4 actually got the award for Best Animated Film of the Year, everyone was outraged and so many people wanted Klaus to win the award. But, and I'm still pissed about that to this day. But now, with all the 2023 movies, Disney's Wish didn't even get nominated. It hasn't gotten nominated for a lot of award ceremonies. And that just proves to show that Disney really needs to wake up. Because their films just aren't turning out that great. The Oscars isn't just going to force feed it and just magically allow them to get nominated. Elemental was really the only good Disney film. It wasn't even a Disney film, it was a Pixar film that came out this year. So Disney needs to wake up. And Elemental, I'd say it deserved the nomination. Coming up next is... Nimona. Now this is a film that's also a massive slap in the face for Disney. This could have been a Disney film. You never know. If there is another timeline where Disney might have actually had the balls to actually just let this happen. But no, Disney tried to turn away this film, they tried to scrap the project, but thankfully Netflix picked it up and we were able to get this film from Annapura Pictures. Thank you, because the world really needed this film. It's a really, really great film. It's one of Netflix's best animated films. If you have not watched this yet, please go watch it. The animation is great. The story is really great. And the messages and the climax. The climax itself really opened my eyes for what this movie was. It was kind of like a, a goofy dynamic between Alistair and Nimona. But once we started getting to the middle point and started going into the climax, I, it started to make me wake up on what this movie was. And it was something way more special than a lot of people thought this movie was gonna be. And if any of the Netflix animated films that came out this year deserved it, it was definitely Nimona. And now there is competition here. This is a really tough group of animated films that are getting nominated, but if a certain other film that I'm about to get into next wasn't, Nominated, I would put Nimona at number two, but I'd say that Nimona definitely is a... Automatically. It was... I knew it was going to get nominated. It's a great film. Go watch it. And hey, you never know. If, if Netflix really, really wants this 
series to continue. Maybe we can get something out of Nimona. You never know. But I'd say Nimona, definitely third place. Best, one of the best Netflix films in a long time. Okay, when we're coming up to the top two, this was really difficult when I was coming up with this video. Because there's my personal preference, and then there's the preference of how the Oscars and the Academy just works. And how they put films with the people behind it, rather than the quality of the actual film itself. And the two films that are definitely the main competitors of this category is The Boy and the Heron and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Both of these films could be considered the best animated film of the year, but they've been bashing heads the entirety of these award seasons. The Boy and the Heron has won some awards, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has some, won some awards. I'm pretty sure Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse won at the Critics' Choice Awards for Best Animated Film, and The Boy and the Heron won Best Animated Film at the Golden Globes. So it's really coming down to these two films, which are really great. And I stated in my last video that I hadn't watched The Boy and the Heron yet. I finally got the chance to watch it. And yeah, it's really a contender for that. It was a really great film. Studio Ghibli just doesn't miss with these films. And The Boy and the Heron was one of them. They did not miss. And Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, that's just an amazing film too. The characters are amazing, the story is great, the animation, every single frame looks like a painting. And Sony Animation is just killing it with these movies they are releasing. And just... There's one thing that's holding Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse back from taking the number one spot. And from reading from what people have said, they're not wrong on this statement. And that's the fact that Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse isn't a complete film. And when that discussion comes up, they're not wrong. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse ends on a cliffhanger. And with this, it doesn't feel like a full circle film. It's like a film that's at the halfway point, and you know, we're waiting for Beyond the Spider-Verse, obviously. But with this, it's slightly holding the film back, because The Boy and the Heron is a complete film. It's not a film that ends on a cliffhanger, and we have to wait forever long, many years, for a sequel to come out. And with that, mind you, this is a movie that is behind one of the best people in the entire animation industry around the world. And this is one of his last films? So to think that the Academy would disregard this movie is a little unlikely for them to do. And as much as I would want Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse to win this award, there's a really good chance that the Academy will hand this award over to the boy Maharan. Even though I prefer Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, it just makes sense that there's one film that's not fully complete, which is still one of the best animated movies ever. And The Boy and the Heron, that people consider one of the best animated movies of the year, is a complete film. But don't get me wrong, once Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out, that is definitely winning Best Animated Feature. I don't know what movie is going to come out once that releases. I mean, we were supposed to get Beyond the Spider-Verse in like a month. But I'd say that, in my opinion, I would want Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse to win. But in this timeline, I kind of see Boy and the Heron taking the win on this one, simply because one is complete and one isn't. And just off topic, can we just, look, I'm a Godzilla fan, I'm gonna talk about it, but Godzilla Minus One got nominated for an Oscar. Okay, it should have been in the category for Best Picture, but the fact it got nominated for Best Visual Effects is insane. This is the first Godzilla movie to ever get nominated at all for an Oscar, which is insane. And seeing the VFX team get so excited at seeing that the announcement of their film really got high praise and be, is recognized by the Academy for everything, and it's just insane. Little side thing I wanted to talk about, but in my opinion, I would want Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse would win, but with how the Academy kind of does things and how they praise certain directors and writers and everything, I think the boy and the heron is probably going to take this one. But what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to win the Oscars this year for Best Animated Feature? That's, there's only really two categories, I'm really, three categories I'm really going to be checking for the Oscars. That's Best Animated Feature, Best Visual Effects, and Best Picture. That's kind of it. But anyways, what do you guys think? 
and let me know down in the comments on who do you think is gonna win and what's your favorite animated movie this year. Let me know down in the comments and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.